So lastly, yeah. where, do, where would you like to see NYT in the next five to 10 years? Yeah, great question. So uh, having been here now six years, I'm really, really optimistic and positive about the future. I think the combination that we have as a polytech plus plus, as I keep calling it, the medical school, the health professions tied together with the sciences and engineering, architecture, management, uh, it really puts us in a position where we've got all the pieces here under one roof that we could do things that other schools can't do. What I have found interesting, and we have not done this, it's not been a strategy, is the fact that 70% of the students last May who graduated from MIT were post-baccalaureate students, right? The year before it was 60%. Is it going to be 80% next year? I don't know yet, and I'll try to predict it. But maybe that's, that's something that is inexorable. Maybe we really are heading towards being what we are, which is now primarily a, a graduate level education institution. Uh, so that's something to keep an eye on. It hasn't been a strategy. It's not something that I said, that's our goal. It's happened. And look where we are. I mean, this is a beautiful place to do research. It's not hard to attract people here, right? To come here and become you know, researchers and faculty members and so forth, they, I think we're going to see an uptick as people get to know us and as people come here, others will want to come here as well. And so I think 10 years from now, uh, we could be a very, very high activity, very high research activity school, I think. And that would be wonderful. Long Island needs that. Long Island needs its MIT, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fantastic. I think it will be. I think it will be.